Hello everybody, we've got a nice easy little card for you today. Uh, we have look who's turning and then we've got the number dangling from a tag and uh, I've got some other pretty little things inside, some leftover scraps and a sticker. Um, if you want the measurements you can go to my card making with Judy Facebook group and join and then in the files is all the instructions with measurements. Now as I'm in Australia these are in centimetres. So let's have a look at this card. First of all you need a white A5 piece of paper, a uh, cardstock and you fold it in half. Now we take the 10 by 14.4 centimetre piece of cardstock and we glue it to the front or we'll tape it. Then we take the next the decorative paper which is just half a centimetre smaller and tape that on or glue it on. Then we take this piece of cardstock which is 8 centimetres by 12.4 centimetres and we then put the decorative little panel on which is 7.5 by 13.9 sorry by 11.9 centimeters and you tape them all on I'll just do that quickly now that we've got them all on looks quite pretty doesn't it with the um, with the instructions uh, what I did was to make this look who's turning one or three or four or five I actually printed this on the computer and I'll just check here to let you know what um, print I used I used freestyle script font and uh, that the printing is actually size 40 and it's not in bold and the numbers are have been bolded and they're size 72 so look who's turning I printed it on the computer onto cardstock and then as you can see I just used a little uh, die to cut the numbers out and um, you can cut one or more depending now depending on the picture you've got and and you could print all the numbers from zero to nine so that you could get any size you wanted um, you could have um, two hanging off it and have um, you know 12 or 21 or however you wanted it um, I'm just going to do look who's turning four and uh, so what I did was I first I cut a, tri a rectangle around that printing with a guillotine. Now I want this to come across here. I don't want it to be too long. So I might shorten it a little bit. Yes, and then I'm going to just cut in on either side to the middle, make it look like a banner. Like that. Now to make these stand out a bit, what I've done is I've gone and got some Distress Oxide. This colour is Abandoned Coral, but you would get the colour that would suit uh, whatever colour you're doing with your um, pictures. And I'm just going to go along the edge of the banner and just highlight the edge so that it stands out more against the backing paper.
nice and easy. See how much more that stands out? Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, the plastic bag I had this in or if you've got a silicon mat use that just don't have mine handy at the moment and I'm going to take another colour a little bit of green this one is shabby shutters and I'm going to put that around where the number is because it's the lighter of the two colours and then I'm going to take that orange and I'm going to put it either end just to make sure make that um, tag stand out a bit more and make it a little bit more interesting there we are now that we've got that ready to go I have a little bit of cord here and I'm going to put that through the hole in the tag probably got it a bit too long but that doesn't matter better too long than too short and fold it in half and crimp, and crimp it like just give it a squeeze now along the back of this banner I will put two rows of tape Peel the backing off. And see how that's sticking out the end there, that little bit of tape? Just fold it back. Don't cut it off and waste it. Just fold it back. It's only glue. And then what we're going to do is hold this over the top of this. So to give me an idea of how far down I want this to be hanging. I think that'll do about that far down and then what I'm going to do is stick this to the tape see that's stuck to the tape now and that's like that if any of the cord is sticking out from the banner you cut it off and then the next thing I'm going to do is add mounting tape to the back it that like that but I have some leftover scraps and the leftover scrap has got a couple of little cars on it so I'm just going to cut those little cars out now here are the little cars that are left over so what I thought I might do is have them driving along in this picture just to add a little bit more interest to the picture so I can just tape those on and here's the second little car below the butterfly there we are now if you have a look at the difference between these two cards one is portrait and one is landscape and I chose that because of the angle at which they were sitting I could get more monkeys on my scene if I made that landscape and um, this one uh, there was not a lot of other things going on so this allowed me to add the little cars but also have plenty of room up here to put this now um, on this one I chose to add put the extra leftovers inside and add a happy birthday sticker uh, on this one I didn't I cut out my leftover scraps and added them to the front so quick easy card exactly the same measurements for both exactly the same tools and equipment for both okay i hope you enjoyed that bye for now